Hello, my name is Fiona Walsh of Empower Presentations. Today, we're going to have a look at PowerPoint Live in Teams. If I click on the Share icon, the Share sidebar will open up. You're probably familiar with the screen option here, and that's probably how you share your, your content now. I have two screens connected to my machine, and that's why I'm seeing two thumbnails here. We also have window, and that will show any windows that we have open. But if we go a little bit further down, you can see PowerPoint Live. The first time you try and use PowerPoint Live, you won't see any files listed here. After you've used it, you'll then see all the different uh, PowerPoint files you've opened most recently. So to start PowerPoint Live, you may need to navigate down to Browse OneDrive or Browse My Computer. So I'm going to choose Sample Slides, and that's the last file that I've opened. My slides are preparing. And it's loading my presentation. So the red outline here is highlighting what my audience are seeing. So they're seeing this slide on their screen. I can navigate through my slides by clicking on the navigate forward and navigate backwards buttons. We have a thumbnail view along the bottom here and the slide I'm looking at is highlighted in orange. I can also navigate to any slide in the presentation that's on this thumbnail view. So I can take my audience straight to that slide by clicking there. I also have the grid view. If I click on the grid view, I can see all of the slides in my presentation. So even if I had 100 slides here, I could jump to any slide in that deck. So let's take my audience straight to that slide without seeing the slides in between. So at the moment I have the cursor on the screen, but I can also choose to use a laser pointer on my slide. And remember, this is what my audience are seeing. I can always also have a pen. I can try uh, writing here. I've got the highlighter, so I can highlight its marketing that we're going to talk about now. And I also have the eraser, so I can remove those annotations if I want to. Over here, we've got the notes. So any notes in PowerPoint will be shown here. And I can increase the font size and decrease the font size. Now, this is the place where your bullet should be. So this is to remind you to talk about every point you want to about a certain slide. If we're in Teams, our audience can, if they want to, go ahead of the slide that we're presenting. So in order to prevent them from doing that, we need to click on the private view icon. And if that is enabled, it means that our audience cannot flick ahead of the slides that we're talking about and see what's coming next. So just make sure you have that private view icon ticked. So if you're watching this on YouTube, please do subscribe to my channel. And if you're watching on LinkedIn, please connect with me. Thanks very much. Bye.